This is the solution to homework set number four for ECE 321 Analog Electronics. The first problem is to design a filter to meet the following requirements. I want the gain to be at least 0.9 for frequencies less than 250 Hz and no more than 0.1 for frequencies above 400 Hz. Essentially build a subwoofer crossover. Now to do that I first have to figure out how many poles I need. So if I have a single pole, the gain drops as one over frequency. If I have n poles, it drops off as one over frequency to the n. That's an n right there. So I solve for n, that it has to have at least 4.8 poles. So let's pick five poles. Uh, let's see. So then, once I know the number of poles, I pick my favorite type of filter, Chebyshev, Butterworth, whatever you like. Um, I kind of like Chebyshev filters. So I'll pick a Chebyshev filter. This is a fifth order Chebyshev filter with a pole corner at one rating per second. To make it to 50 hertz or 500 pi ratings per second, scale all the poles by 500 pi. Gives you this transfer function. I can then check my design. In MATLAB, I'll just take frequencies between 0 and 1000 hertz. Convert to ratings per second as 2 pi f. S is j omega. Here's my poles. The numerator is just the product of the poles to make the gain 1. Denominator is your, your pi poles. Now plot the gain versus frequency, and here's what you get. So the gain is at least 0 0.9 at 250 hertz, and less than 0 0.1 at 400 hertz, so that meets my requirements. So, kind of got lucky there with my first guess. That says, here's my filter, and k is just the product of all the poles to make the DC gain 1. The next problem is to design an op amp circuit to implement that filter. Here I've got five poles, so I'll separate it into three separate filters. The first one is just an RC filter with a pole at 1 over at 754 ratings per second. The second is a two-stage low-pass filter with a pole at 1194 at 59 degrees. The third stage is a second-order low-pass filter with a pole at 1665 at 82 degrees. RC filter is pretty straightforward. Just pick R, solve for C, 1 over RC 754. The second stage, I'll make R10 times bigger to prevent loading. Pick R, one of our RC is 1194. The gain sets the angle. So I want a gain of 1.98, which sets this to be 98k. So that's 0 0.98. The gain of the non inverting amplifier is 1 plus the ratio, is 1.98. And this last stage, 1 over RC 1665, solve for C, you get 6 nanofarads. To set the gain, angle to 82 degrees, K is 2.7, makes it 172K. So there's my circuit. Throw that in Circuit Lab and do a frequency sweep, and here's what you get. That verifies that I built the circuit correctly. The gain is roughly 1 out of the corner, then drops off. And actually, the gain isn't quite 1, it's actually 5. That's because the first stage has a gain of 1.98, the second stage has a gain of 2.72. So the overall gain is about 5.3. What you could do is reduce the gain by 5.3 or just live with it. Um, probably best is just live with it, say the output is actually 5.3y. Presumably there will be other stages amplifying your signal. This circuit provides a gain of 5.3. The rest of the gain that you need goes to some other circuit. Problem 4 is analog computers. I can also implement any differential equation using op amps. The trick is to multiply it out, solve for the highest power, and I get s cubed y is minus 4s squared y minus 8sy minus 8y. So if this is right here, s cubed y is minus 4 times sy. Integrate, I get sy minus 8 times sy minus 8 times y. The output then is 90 times this guy uh, plus 10 times the second derivative. So this is x, sx, s squared x. Add those together. Once I get the circuit and analog computer notation, make all the signs negative, and occasionally have to throw an inverter to keep all the signs negative. Now I'm going to implement that with an op amp circuit. These are integrators, that's an amplifier, there's an inverter. So these are the integrators. The gain is 1 over RC, and the 1 over RC, the gain, matches up with these gains. Uh, this is the 
10s squared. Here's the, what we get? 90 coming in. So this circuit implements that uh, differential equation. That's the beauty of analog computers. I can implement any differential equation with op amps. That is homework set number four.